<laughs> Moving on to the last male character on the hit list to the SJW Feminazis is Marvel's The Incredible Hulk. Now this one is similar to the situation with Luke Skywalker, which is pretty much public knowledge at this point regarding Hulk's final appearance in Avengers Endgame. For those who are either unaware, clueless, or don't even care what's happening, here's a brief description of the matter. Most of those who watched Endgame back in 2019, including myself, saw Hulk as less of an important character compared to Infinity War or Thor Ragnarok. This was all due to the fact that the studio heads decided to play into the SGW mob's hands of intentionally reducing Hulk's original character traits of not being angry into I believe a shell of his former awesome badass self that once took on what looked like the devil in Ragnarok. I'll stop you, moron! The Incredible Hulk always referred to himself saying, quote, Hulk's the strongest there is. You can't win, Hulk. You're just a frightened child. You're a fractured piece of Bruce's psyche. A little boy crying out to be loved. And you're afraid of me, as you should be, because I'm going to erase you from his mind. Hulk is not afraid. Hulk is the strongest one there is. The beast is strong. But not strong enough. Hulk is strong as Because his anger is what gives him strength to take on his enemies and defend those he cares about, like Betty Ross. Villains like the Leader, Abomination, or Generos' Hulkbusters. Fun fact, Mark Hamill was the voice of Gargoyle on the 90s Hulk cartoon, so it's one more to add on his list of iconic roles he's done over the years. Excellent idea for a pitiful halfwit. But there's a new chain of command now, Stearns. I postulate the brilliant plans. Here. You clean up the lab. So says the gargoyle. <laughs> that sounds as stupid coming from me as it did from the leader. What gets him angry is Banner getting beaten up, seeing innocence in harm's way, or just getting pissed that the general wants to use his gamma field blood as a weapon to recreate the serum to make more super soldiers like Captain America. Take away Hulk's trait of being angry is no different than removing Wolverine's animantium claws or Doctor Strange's powers. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Yet in the eyes of these SJWs out there, it's about retconning these characters along with other IPs to play into this sexist agenda to go after men with this toxic masculinity bullshit saying men can't be or look like men anymore because it involves rape culture or it belittles those who don't have muscles, which, to put it bluntly, is total bullshit. From the information I uncovered regarding the manner of Hulk being reduced of his former self is mixed, but most viewers and fans have pointed out the flaws in how Hulk was presented in Endgame and Thor Ragnarok. I'll say from my point of view, this whole Professor Hulk idea may have worked on paper or from a comic book perspective. But when executed on screen, it was just used to prevent Hulk from being his badass self. Even to the point of the movie where Hulk sees his past self from the first Avengers, he's disgusted at what he sees, which only proves the point I'm making. Sure, he was the only one to use the Infinity Gauntlet and was able to fight in the final battle against Thanos and his forces, but he should not have felt like a side character rather than one that deserved more love and respect, which the studio did not give him completely. Which to me and others feels like a major cop-out in favor of playing into identity politics. I don't give a fuck how many cuts of Endgame there are if it had Captain Marvel leading the team. All I care about is seeing the characters I grew up with being treated with the same love, respect, and dignity that Stan Lee and others gave them years ago. Sadly, it would appear that Endgame was truly the end of the franchise we enjoyed and admired over the years. Now they'll be the subject of more identity politics with Phase 4 to continue this woke crap into our culture. I seriously have no interest in watching WandaVision, Falcon the Winter Soldier, Loki, or even Black Widow or anything else attached to the Phase 4 lineup because I will no longer support a company like Disney or Marvel that continues to attack and bully its fans, customers, and employees with this woke, sexist, racist garbage. No different than Warner Brothers pulling the same shit. Need I say more? What more do you want? For now! I tried to play ball with these ass clowns. F*** you, Mr. Stark. F*** you, buddy. We're adjourned. We're adjourned for today. Okay. You've been a delight.
Hey guys, it's RetroMeister again. Thank you for watching this video. If y'all enjoyed it, definitely share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more content coming up soon, and support in the battle for alternative media. You guys stay awesome, and I'll see you all in the next video.